Hello guys, welcome to today's show. My name is Nachux and you're on GFL TV, the home of football. If today is the first time we see our program, for here we will bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with today's news. Um, Arsenal are they ready to give Bukai Osaka a bumper salary, the one quadruple in salary like multiple times. I don't know how much you they pay, but I'm not saying a small money, maybe that kind of 30,000 pounds per week, I'm a small chicken chicken in the game. So they won't reward the guy for all the performances we know they do for Arsenal because this guy has really, really played well, pledged his allegiance to Arsenal. Even though we don't hear say many people they talk saying if he to go join Liverpool, many pundits don't talk about him. But I know say the guy love Arsenal. Nobody does really just him. Even with his fellow Hill End Academy graduates, all those guys and Miss Mitro, them say they really, really love Arsenal. So we would like to extend in contracts. Presently now, in contracts will expire 2024. So it's our prerogative now to make sure say we extend them. Will it go higher, higher, higher? So our plan be that. So at the same time, Charlie Watts will be one of our super super pundits and super super journalists don't come outside the talk say referees need to protect Bukai Osaka because if you check the Osaka they play, many many people they, they attack in leg, they like to kick him for every game and especially what you make and talk this now because of what happened for the Aston Villa game where Ashley Young and Mings, they all the targets the guy leg. I don't know, she's not leg when they kick, I've been a ball on one play. So referees need to protect her and make in fellow teammates self they always give and protection. Like if anything happen with the wrong good there, what did they stop now? Now kill her. Kill the ah all those kind of package that to be the protect otherwise opposition players are gonna target the guy left too. Because you know see if they kick him out of the game, then that's not get any biting force again. Still on this same Sakai issue, so Gerard don't come aside from media set the way that they ask and say, What do you think about this thing that um, Bukayo Saka has been saying? Say many referees they protect him because in would they go at the uh, opposition players, so he needs more protection. Gerard don't talk say always always Saka they talk say Saka is a nice boy, who, he's a good player, he loves him, but it's part of the game. Football is a contact sport. Say for example, now him now, they get one screw ready for a hip now, and I think they like this now for a football career. So you don't get like 16 different different surgery when you don't do. Say so no you even go for gym again. Say all because in the flying trade for English football, just to earn a living. So Saka is not exempted from that. Say it's contact sports, you get there will be tackles, you get tackles and contact. It's part of the game, you get about all the top plenty plenty. So you only defend within the entire mix and uh, actually young they do. Say you know me now, it's in a contact sport, I will go talk to me, they don't touch you again. Say they must touch you if you open I'll be shame they leave me go score. But just they talk plenty, plenty, and many people now don't they against within Gerard talk because they call the attack Gerard also. Like for example, now when they call the ask because I tell that about this thing with Gerard talk, I tell that about say almost say you have to do what the players have said, give them more protection. Even Charlie Watt said, come come again, come they reiterate within Gerard come talk. What does say? What kind of statement? I don't use the word, the exact word, but he really abuse Gerard. I don't know is that exact word, but it would be good for. Broadcast, you got to say what kind of what, what kind of this thing I uh, Gerard they talk now. Say it don't make sense. Say okay, she will because you you collect 16 operations. So make Saka collect 16 operations because you, you carry a screw for your hip now. Where you know if you go to gym. So make Saka self carry your own screw for your hip. It don't make sense now. Stop carrying your 16 operations and your screws as a badge of honor, which means anybody that wants to be a super footballer should have those operations. See, we don't need to play football to the level they say they will come carry person go to the operation theater like when they give you surgery just because somebody they kick your leg you can't fall awkwardly you know make a uh, baba talk plenty plenty well it is what it is on my way from that laura woods will they will be super pundits for talk sports don't come as i call it talk say oh this is where they talk say ask that they celebrate too much like say they don't win that say you understand where all this one come from she make us you know they celebrate go where they call again i mean if you win Make you don't know, celebrate your goal, make you don't know, celebrate with your fans, make you don't know, happy. Say no understand. Say if the same person you know they celebrate goals again, then what are we playing football for? Where's the happiness going to come from? It don't make any sense now. Football is an emotional sport. Happiness and sadness they involve. So if you come to the time to be happy, you could be allowed to be happy. So now so you just be saying no understand this time we see as the other come outside the company say, hey, ask that we then because they celebrate football. Which I mean, is there any yardstick for celebration? I don't understand them. <laughs> Not too long ago, Ruben Neves got the complaint. You say, as now, we don't even know only Ruben Neves. They even call the code the way the Wolves captain said, Come on, I say, you saw the way they were celebrating? They celebrated like they won the league. And he shows this league is going very strong. Yeah, but I go down on Saturday talk, say, as now, still celebrate. Yes, the many people going to bring out the past statement, say, celebration is good for the sport. Yes, we have to celebrate. Oh, I don't just understand. I wish that because now, as now, 
I'm a monitor of spiritual record, Napoli Gazeta de los Sports. Don't come aside and let us know. Say, Arsenal don't join the battle to sign for Simen. And this for Simen, nobody asked that the reason now. Why? That's why they said they joined the battle because Newcastle now be the front runners. But although they didn't really spend it, although they didn't spend money anyhow, Newcastle did there. Manchester United did there. Then Arsenal can't join for the mix now. So, and I believe, say, if Arsenal qualify for Champions League, the Simen will likely come. But not even the choice of striker be the problem. The talk say anybody who wants to sign this guy gas cough out 84 million pounds. Can Arsenal cough out 84 million pounds for Osime? Will it be a good buy? Will it be a good return on investments in the future? Will it be a good overall investment for the team? These are the questions. So maybe let me know. Should I think to make Arsenal go forward for this guy? That's why I say Newcastle. I don't say if that money aspect, Newcastle get the money to buy the guy. Manchester United get the money to buy the guy. We can we afford him? I'm on a more positive note, Saliba, William Saliba, I don't get in first France color. And what you make this guy get lucky because for the preliminary list, this is not drop, they're not approved. They never know the day there. Now Pavard, they ain't there. But Pavard, they can't come out time because they don't get coronavirus. So as Pavard don't come out space one day, so the coach, I think the champs, come call Saliba. So yeah, I don't watch your tape, but I don't say you do good there. Come join us. So Saliba, they're very, very happy now. I'm gonna point this one comment about media set media set for the talk say Mikel Ateta stands on allowing Saliba to go out to Marcel to go and develop and not keeping him in Arsenal has been vindicated because if they say you know carry Saliba go for Marcel, Saliba they call Arsenal, even the Arsenal Benjamin for the state, that one has shot that hundred percent. As it don't go, Marcel go develop and see say he could cheese them for France, they don't scam pan, they don't add them. Get because I'm there for supplementary list, you know, make the main list that is not add up. So sometimes when I try to make a decision, make everybody respect them and see, see it makes sense. I'm a Gabriel Martinelli, don't join the Brazil squad, even though he missed the match against Aston Villa. But we don't say for the match against Aston Villa, they talk, say the guy is sick, even though he followed and travel go uh, Birmingham, followed and travel to go play that match. But one year, say in this sick, but now the guy don't they recover, so don't. Join up, we don't link up with the Brazilian squad. And we wish him all the very best because he has really earned his color. We are really proud of our players. See, all of them, they go represent their country. It makes sense. I'm a Glenn Johnson, don't come and say, I call a chip mask for this Coutinho matter. So, but back on to say, you see this Coutinho here? So, if Asna end up signing Coutinho, so Coutinho will be a better upgrade. So, this is our older guy. If it is say older guy, they play where? As you watch him now. Imagine what Coutinho will bring for that team. See what Coutinho will do for. Aston Villa, even though they are mediocre team like a small team, what you want this thing to do for a team like Aston Villa? They don't they get a solid structure? You go put some kind of mad performance on them if you like. But I talk plenty, plenty about Coutinho. I miss about this thing. I'm saying don't lie. You. If Coutinho enter Aston, the guy go play well. Though. But the problem is some people go to ask him where Coutinho come play because he don't go hamper the progress of like Odegaard or maybe uh, Emi Smith Rowe. Okay, now we don't say okay, Emi Smith Rowe and Martinelli they for that last plan. So maybe uh, Coutinho and Odega are going to share number 10. Or the guy who play together, because when you check Aston Villa set up, you will see say, Coutinho and Emi Guedia they play together for the lineup. Because when the first one buy Coutinho, people will say, yeah, Emi Guedia will come to play. Emi Guedia has the sole responsibility of playing number 10. But now when Coutinho can come, two of them come to play the same. They just want to play together. So if you want to sign Coutinho, because Aston has said, they really, really scam back. I thought I really like the guy he we don't know, we don't know, say the amount are like 35 to 40 million pounds. Now, Basuna really want to go. Basuna don't want to take him again because he was the highest earner in Basuna, any 350,000 pounds per week. They don't want him again so that Lugo offsets their wage structure. So, you know, say the loan they give uh, Aston Villa a loan with an option to buy, not an obligation because they may not have the money to buy him. You know, many, many things surrounding this routine will do at the end of the summer. We don't know whether Aston Villa will buy him because they didn't get the first option. But I don't hold the player now. That if they know if you buy him, you can sweep in. Um, we thought it usually happened with Saliba. So after they plan preliminary talks with Saliba and his agent, and this thing will happen in the coming weeks because you know, say this guy contract will end anytime soon. They might just have been scammed back. Even Marcel said one time back, they don't want me to even go back to Asna. So many, many things are surrounding this guy. So Asna won't extend a contract because it's going to be a mainstay in our sport next season when we are going to Europe. So we'll be very happy for in development because that was the plan all along. Go out, develop, 
come back and display what you have learned. That's why we sent you out. So, for the watch has to happen. I just hope, say, Saliba and the representative who will give Arsenal any problem because I know, say, in the past, Saliba, I know they have to say they send them out on numerous clothes. But at the end of the day, I know he will be very, very grateful that he went on this particular loan because this loan don't put down for limelight to everybody this year. Um, on Newcastle, don't add Ben Leno to their transfer shopping list to see that they find will keep out. Nobody Ben Leno they add, they even add the Henderson of Manchester United. All those keep out the second choice, so they say they did very, very good to even for number one. But also, the person they're going to keep them out. So Newcastle said, once they keep away, will be their own number one. So that's what it just be. So if it happen like this, I'm very, very happy for Ben Leno. You know, we will pay us because at the end of the season, Ben Leno is leaving anyway. Because we said we don't already sign our own keeper replacements, not sign Matt Stoner. So that new revolution will keep up for USC. But I'm not forget to run sign up because we know that Ben Leno is leaving at the end of the season because he cannot afford to remain number two to Rams they will get. He himself never ever been number two before. This is the first time when they happen. So he himself need game time. So wish him all the best of luck when it happens. On my way from that, then uh, Matthew Howard will be one of our super super pundits for BBC. Dr. Masako the talk say Aston Villa should have had a penalty in the match against Arsenal. And why is that so? Go back on uh, talk about one scenario where Thomas Partey the whole Mings for one corner. You wrap your arms around me, so don't let me jump up the one not the corner. They can also see the kind of situation, so things like that. Nine was supposed to give Aston Villa a balance. Why did the referee miss it? Why did VAR miss it? Why did the assistant referee miss it? So, this kind of thing, then they made some kind of thing they vex for officiating. We serve sometimes to face all this kind of thing and we they complain. So, now in the talk, say Aston Villa should have had a penalty, at least the match should have ended. One one. We serve, we can also come out and say, me should have had a red card. Instead of giving him a yellow card because he almost took out our Bukayo Saka, many, many talking points. And this was why VAR was brought in to kill off all these talking points. By the end of the day, it's like VAR is now one of the talking points. So, so you know what just this issue? Check the top left corner of your screen, you see the thumbnail. Click out so that you'll get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So it's actually signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Now, game out.